all right guys so I am making a quick video on how to change your nozzle on your snap maker I made a video on how to improve your 3d prints if you want to watch that video I'll link it right here um, but some people asked me because I did mention I was using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle um, they wanted to know how to change it so I'm making a quick video on how to do that all right let's jump right in Full disclosure though, there's always risks when making these changes. Uh, I, just, I will give you as many tips as I can, but just know that you can make mistakes and end up damaging your bed or your, your nozzle or your printing head. Just make sure that you are careful when making these changes and know that you're doing it at your own risk. So here we go. So these are the things that you are going to need. You're going to need your 3d printing head you're also going to need a six millimeter socket to remove the nozzle your handy dandy screwdriver from snapmaker with the h 2.0 tip on it and uh, an adjustable wrench and of course your your new nozzle you're gonna open uh, the door and uh, in there we're gonna find uh, that there's a small screw that we are going to loosen and here comes my first warning make sure that when you grab your snap maker printing head that you don't grab it by the sensor that is the the leveling sensor and if you grab it by there you can end up moving it up which I end up doing and you can damage your bed so make sure that you don't grab it there so you're gonna loosen the screw from in there and then you're going to pull the whole hot end assembly from inside the module and you're going to disconnect the cable from in there it should look something like this now using the six millimeter socket and the wrench you are going to you're going to hold it by the heating block You want to be careful not to use too much force in any of this. You also don't want to break the silicon sock that's protecting the heating block. All right, mine was already loose, so I just loosened it with my fingers real quick. Um, but this is basically what you're going to end up with. Now you're just going to do the same thing, just backwards. You're going to screw in your nozzle and here comes my second warning this part is a little bit tricky trying to get the nozzle just right is a little bit tricky i did this with this hot end and i ended up messing the threads so this hot end that i'm holding here is no good so you want to make sure that you are firm but not extremely firm because you don't want to damage the threads but you also don't want to leave it too loose or else it's going to leak through the threads the filament is going to leak through the threads and it's just going to give you a, another problem to worry about okay so now you just changed your nozzle the only thing left to do is to reinstall the hot end assembly back into the module some people will recommend that you heat up your nozzle and then finish tightening it I have never done that and it's never given me an issue but you are more than welcome to do that if you need to feel a little more secure a few tips when sliding your nozzle in there make sure that you are pushing it all the way through when you have it in there and that the cables are tucked all the way in also make sure that the heating block is not touching any of the plastic parts because if it is when it warms up it's gonna melt anything that is touching so make sure that you tighten the small little screw in there and after doing all of these please do not forget you have to calibrate you have to don't do your calibration because your nozzle will never be back in the same place 
And the last thing I'll cover is nozzles. You might be wondering which nozzles are compatible with the uh, Snapmaker. And the sizes are pretty standard for 3D printers. And I'll just link it like this. Um, I'll put a link in the description with this package. It comes from nozzles all the way from 0 0.2 to 1 millimeter. And for the 0 0.4 millimeters, you get 10 nozzles. So there you have it guys, that's how you change your nozzle, I hope this helps, I hope this clarifies uh, some of the questions you have and uh, removes some of that fear that I know comes when you start taking this machine apart. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, also if you have any questions, if you have anything to add, please share it in the comments below, I am very interested in uh, listening to what you guys have to say.